Under normal operating conditions, CV axles are engineered to last many miles. But nothing is normal with trail riding, and at some point, you will need to replace a broken or bent CV axle on your side-by-side. This video is sponsored by GSP North America. Over 35 years of manufacturing CV axles, loaded strut assemblies, hub assemblies, and much more. Visit gspnorthamerica.com for more information. Axle replacement is one of the most common repairs you will need to make to your side-by-side. -side. What's more, modifications to your side-by-side -side can shorten axle life. Here's a few tips to help with installation. First, make sure your side-by-side -side is clean, as well as the garage or workspace you'll be using to perform the work. This way you don't create any additional issues by getting the internals of the differentials filled with mud, debris, or rust. Also, before you put your hands or any other body parts under the vehicle, put your side-by-side -side on reliable and sturdy jack stands. Be safe. Make sure you have the correct replacement CV shaft for your side-by-side. -side. Be sure the replacement has the same length, diameter, and spline count as the original. If you have a modified suspension, you may need to upgrade to a longer axle or one that allows for more articulation from the CV joints, especially if axle problems are a reoccurring issue. Any axle that has a circlip on the inner spline should be inspected to make sure no metal pieces or part of a broken clip remains in the differential after axle removal. If the inner joint of an axle was pulled apart, has ripped or stretched boot, Check the condition of the motor mounts, all suspension parts, motor, and transmission alignment, and any frame damage. This is also a good time to clean the spindle at the wheel bearing to inspect your side-by-side -side components for wear and tear. It's a good idea to check the bearings in the knuckle as well. Also, add a little anti-seize to the axle splines on both ends to ensure that next time everything comes apart easily. After installing a circlip type axle into the transmission, Ensure the axle is properly seated in the transmission by pulling gently on the axle. If the axle slides out with minimal effort, it's probably not fully inserted into the differential. Sometimes you may need to use a dead blow hammer or a plastic mallet to get the axle seated properly. Using a rubber or dead blow hammer ensures that you won't damage the metal surfaces while getting the axle in or out of the knuckle assembly. If you use a metal hammer, Place an axle nut on the threads so you do not damage them. When installing all CV axles, don't let them hang from the differential or transaxle at any time during installation. The added stress can damage the inboard CV joint, causing the axle to bind or suffer from premature failure. And do not use power tools to tighten the spindle nut. You can damage the threads and possibly the outer CV joint. Always torque the spindle nut to the proper specifications and install new cotter pins and lock nuts. Axle replacement is relatively easy and most can be replaced in about an hour or two. Following these installation tips will help ensure the job is done right. Happy trails.